Welcome to the first non biannual thing. No, I should probably script this. Welcome to the Best You've Seen Entertainment nominees, or the Bisons for short. Yes! Yes! This is basically my award show, and I am going to award stuff. First off, let's start with Best Movie 2012. The nominees are Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, see, full on zoom in, zoom in action. Batman. And for some reason, that is still in its plastic casing. Which means I should probably watch this at some time. And of course, Ted. Wait, this is Family Guy. Same thing. And the winner is Full Metal Alchemist. Do you know why? Because I paid $600 for this thing right here. I'm going to give you a close up of that right now. Next up in the category, games. Best game 2012. Nominees are Borderlands, Halo 4. Oh, disqualified because it doesn't have fucking Firefight. Spun Knobs is not Firefight. It is not as good as Firefight, so disqualified. Transformers, War for Cybertron. Fall of Cybertron because War for Cybertron is a completely different game. Womp womp. And, because that's only two nominees, because Halo was disqualified, Alan Wake, the complete book edition. Now, why is this nominated? Well, correction, why is this winning? Because this one won, by the way. Alan Wake, best game 2012. Because the PC edition came out on PC in 2012. Makes sense, it does. Anyway, oh my god, it's even signed. Signed. You can't see that. Signed. DLGC, downloadable game content. The winners are... Not the winners. The nominees are... The entertainment nominees. The best you've seen entertainment nominees are... Modern Warfare 3. Why? Hear me out. It did DLC right. Call of Duty Elite. Pay whatever money and you're part of the service. Now, basically what we did was we paid to be part of the beta test... But if you got the collector's edition, it was free, along with all of the DLC that came out for the year. So I didn't pay anything for the DLC, so that's a real big boost on my front. But either way, one DLC pack per month for an entire year. It was a multiplayer map, a spec ops map, and achievement. achievements. It had achievements, and that is why I loved it. That is why it is nominated. And of course... Panda Land, World of Warcraft, it's downloadable game content, it is pretty damn good, if I do say myself, because who doesn't love Kung Fu Panda? I know I am impartial to it. And the last nominee, which, considering how much I've talked about it, you can pretty much guess which one's winning, so. The last nominee is Sonic Adventures 2 Battle. Because I waited so long for that to come out after they put Sonic Adventures 1 on XBLA. And I'm assuming it came out on PSN as well, and maybe Steam. I don't know. I don't care. I got my Sonic Adventures 2 battle. Finally, after like three years waiting for it to come out. And honestly, it wasn't that good. I mean, it's a good game. It just doesn't hold up. Shadow the Hedgehog is best hedgehog. I would totally fuck him. And let him fuck me. So, um, I've pretty much stated it already, but Modern Warfare 3 wins the DLGC award for 2012. Even though it technically came out in 2011. Next category would be Best Meme of 2012. Nominees are YOLO, because you only live once and it has to be nominated for that. Just YOLO, huh? YOLO. YOLO, I'm writing YOLO, I'm writing YOLO, I'm writing YOLO, YOLO! Alright, next nominee is Ray William Johnson's Black Baby, because he had a black baby. Apparently that's a meme. Congratulations. It's a girl. I just want to take a baby who happens to be black and throw it! And you guys know that here on Equals 3, we don't tolerate child endangerment. We take that sh very serious. Anyway, I gotta go take care of some business and I'll see you guys in a few days. Somebody throw me my black baby! Yeah. Ah! Third nominee, Cutting for Bieber. Technically not a meme, but it's something that happened on the internet. That made me laugh every time. And the winner, of course, is 
Ray William Johnson, Black Baby. Wait, what? What is? Well, this is ridiculous. I can't believe that bloody bullshit one. Someone give me a black baby. This isn't technically a black baby, but it'll do. Alright, now moving on from the racism. Second last category. Best publicity for anything. Basically, it's a trailer competition, but... I decided to extend it because I saw something that, quite frankly, will win. And it isn't technically a trailer. And the nominees are Halo, Forward Unto Dawn. That was pretty damn good. Had nothing at all to do with Halo 4, and Lasky is not a big part of Halo 4 at all. I mean, he's there. He's pretty big in Spartan Ops, but it's really not about... It, it's not about him. Why did they put, like, an hour and a half about him? I get it, it's a story, but still. It was pointless. It's the prerequisite to Halo 4. It's not prerequisite, but that means pre-required. Pre-cool? I don't know. Either way, it wasn't necessary. As you can guess, that's not what's winning. Second was Borderlands 2 Doomsday Trailer because was awesome. <laughs> And the last nominee is Darksiders 2. Why? What did they do? I mean, they had some pretty awesome live-action trailers and that Death Rises or Death Lives or whatever it was. The two-part full CGI looked kind of badass, but that's not why. Why they're nominated is because they spent, I don't know how much, on a massive, like, 20 meters, which is about 60 feet, I think high billboard outside of the Brisbane airport in Australia. I mean, it's just not worth it. They, that company went bankrupt and they were spending, I don't know how many thousands a day on that huge billboard, which couldn't have gotten them many sales, especially not at the airport to Australia. I mean, it's just not good planning. It's just stupid. And that's why they won. They had the balls to bankrupt their company over that shitty game. Darksiders 1 was brilliant, Darksiders 2 fell fucking flat as balls. The graphics were horrible, but they still won that award. I hate Vigil, but you won that award. I'm glad- wait, no, Vigil. What happened to Vigil? Oh shit. Vigil. I'm just gonna go off on a tangent here. Vigil Games, makers of Darksiders 2. The crappiest looking game on the Xbox by far. Well, it's not really that crappy, but it should be a lot better than it is, especially this far along the cycle. Most of their employees have been poached off by some company that works with the Crytek engine. The second, possibly the first, most beautiful engine there is in the gaming industry. I'm not sure if it's on par or better than Unreal, I'm not sure. Either way. They're basically working on the next Crisis game after working on the shittiest looking game ever. I just, it baffles my mind. This is another reason they won. Originally, Doomsday was going to win because I have to do Borderlands. I'm a huge fan of Borderlands, as you can tell if you subscribe to my channel. Anyway, also the fact that they did go bankrupt does help their case. And I may or may not, probably not, but I'm going to try and send out awards at least pieces of paper framed and all that crap because it's like this big and that's well, it's not hard to send something like that. I'm gonna send these awards to the winners. Maybe. Probably not. Our last category for this award is Biggest Surprise of the Year. I'm very expressive with my hand, but not so much this one. Basically it means I expected it to be shit and it was good. And that's a surprise. Ponies, because I didn't expect that to be good. It's not the best thing ever, honestly, but it's surprisingly good. Like, I did not expect it to be good, and that's how this is categorized. And the nominees are Lollipop Chainsaw, which I also have to admit I only got into because of Ponies and Terra Strong, but it wasn't my radar before that. I would have bought it once it was a bit cheaper instead of buying it the day it came out. And the last nominee is Abe Lincoln Vampire Hunter, because... I didn't expect that to be good. It was a good movie. It was a really good movie. 
and obviously looking at this channel wait there was one more nominee I forgot what it was because I don't have these written down oh yeah now I remember it was this Fall of Cybertron Transformers also this is Soundwave anyway Soundwave because Soundwave they actually had these in the stores and I was fucking surprised because they didn't have for the Fall of Cybertron ones but they did for the Warp wait I don't know and the winner is you'll never guess because look at my channel the winner is Abe Lincoln surprised you didn't know you were expecting Pony Ponies is good it's not the best thing out there Abe Lincoln I expected that to be complete shit it was a good story. It was a good movie. The graphics were good. It wasn't over the top CGI, but it was CGI. It was in the slow motion axe throwing bit. That was alright. I think I'm only thinking of that. It was a good movie. I'm surprised. And that is the best you've seen entertainment nominees. Yes! Yes! Now, with how I reacted when I received this glorious gift right here, I bet you're wondering why Wreck-It Ralph wasn't even nominated. Well, technically, it did come out last year, but I didn't see it until 2013. God, I love you so much, baby. Anyway. There's stuff right there. Right there it goes.